Hello, everybody. Glad to have the chance to give a presentation of research methodology. The topic we choose is SDGs 5, Gender Equality. In the title is a study on gender differences in college counselors' recruitment, so as to make contributions to achieving gender equality and empowering women and girls. My team consists of five members. They are Wang Zhiya from School of Arts, Zhang Kefeng from School of National Higher Education Research Institute, Yan Yu from School of Educational Studies, Zhang Renyuan from School of Languages, Literacies and Translation, and Shang Chen from School of Management. Thanks for their contributions to completing the assignment. Now we are going to do the presentation from the following four parts. Brief introduction of SDG 5, Gender Equality. Gender equality reflecting in college counselors in China, reasons for gender tendency towards college counselors, and efforts to improve gender equality. As it is known to us all that gender equality is of great significance to social development, it is a basic human right, an essential foundation for world peace, prosperity, and sustainable development. In addition, Access to education, health care, decent work, and participation in po political and economic decision making by women and girls will contribute to sustainable economic development for benefits of so society and humanity. Actually, in some places, discriminatory laws and the social norms still remain pervasive. For example, in sub Saharan Africa, Oceania, Western Asia, girls still face many barriers to entering primary and secondary schools. In North Africa, women account for less one than fifths of paid employment in the non-agriculture sector. Though the good thing is that gender equality problem is being improved in more areas. For instance, in South Asia, the ratio of boys to girls enrolled in primary school in 1990 was 74 for every 100 girls. It was not until 2012 that the ratio of boys to girls was balanced. In almost 46 countries, women now hold more than 30% of seats in at least one house of parliament. Okay, let's move to the next part. Part two is about gender equality reflecting in college counselors in China. Let's see the status quo of gender equality in China. Since 1990, it has conducted a national survey of women's social status every 10 years. A study based on data from the 2010 National Survey on the Status of Women showed an analysis of 26,166 valid samples from the recovered questionnaires. Among them, 57.9% of women and 56.8% of men agreed that the development of the husband is more important than the development of the wife. Let's move to status quo of gender tendency towards college counselors employment. At present, universities require a doctor's degree or above, but for counselors, most of them require master's degree. Why college counselors are important in China? That's because counselor is the link between university and the, the students. If the students guide in the university, directly affects the students' words and deeds. The state president said at the national conference, counselors play a main part in colleges and universities and shoulder the important task to cultivate students' morals and ethics. Okay. Let's move to the next part. According to some university websites, the following four standards are used to recruit counselors. The number one master's degree and above. And next one is fresh graduates or those who have graduated within two years. The next one is accommodation in students' dormitories. The next one is males pre prior to females. 
We focus on one of Chinese province, Henan. We collected data on the number of counselors that schools were recruiting and the number of people looking for jobs. From the official website of the various colleges and universities in Henan province, we can see from the data that also the number of female counselors is twice as many as that of male counselors. The number of successful counselors is still more or equal to that of female counselors. Some schools even given the preference to male counselors. Let's move to the next part. Okay. So let's come to the third part, reasons for gender tendency towards college counselors. We have received a total of 1,319 questionnaires from college students in Henan province, from which there are 840 female students, 479 are male students. And we are going to show you the results in several ways. The students ex expect 44% Students expect male counselors, but the fifty-five percent expect female counselors. <clears throat> the existing college students' preference, of course, is female. And in addition, about seventy-four percent students want the counselors to be more approachable and easy to communicate with. 47% want the counselors to be conscientious and work more carefully. And 40% students hope the counselors have patience and can offer more help in life. Can colleges and universities participate in the questionnaire survey the existing stipulation of other problems in recruitment counselor? And nearly 20% of the students said that the counselors live at students' dormitory. More students prefer female counselors for they can provide more help conveniently in their life. But from the perspective of employers, they support male counselors. They have a lot of reasons for the females not suitable for this position. They thought females are unable to work for long periods of time because they are pregnant or breastfeeding or cannot bring students enough sense of security or are not as good as coping with students in emergencies as men. Women are not as energetic as men sometimes to deal with students' affairs. But from perspective of students, they support female counselors. They thought female counselors could provide more help conveniently in life and um, more easygoing, considerate, meticulous, patient, and better at communication. The differences between results of questionnaire and our recruitment data of college and universities. As for the gender requirement of colleges and university in recruitment information, there's a significant difference between students' choice of gender of teachers. So what can we do to improve the gender equality? First, when recruiting, we should pay attention to ratio of men and women is reasonable and coordinate. Second, carry out vocational training in accordance with the gender differences. Last, give full play to the respective gender advantage. We have found a lot of references, but we only show some of them here. Thank you for listening.